are you talking about, bro? Don't you know about Mexican's legendary random? <laughs> That's Bane. Don't you know about Bane's legendary random? Pac-Man? I've seen him take names of Pac-Man. I'm pretty sure this is a button check. No, no, it's, uh, you know, side-swapping. What? Uh, Pandarian and Strota were just fighting each other. Oh. Alright, quick button check. So I'm ex I'd be surprised if you see Mexican uh, Pokemon trainer just because I haven't seen it before. Yo, known for playing the Ike, but it is a really solid here, so if he decides to he actually rock with it, you know, I'd like to see it. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he's gonna do it. I think this is random for a button check. Maybe. Looks like the buttons are all working right there. They were getting some mean, uh, mean inputs coming out. All right, going for the RPS again. Strutter, Strutter's out here just having a good time. There's the Ganon and the Ike. I'm gonna need them to like, stop messing with me, man. They can do whatever they want, man. I, hey, I, I'm respectfully asking. I think hey, they don't, they don't. All right. Stop messing with me, man. <laughs> Alright, so it is gonna be what we expected. The trainer of the ninja versus the Ganondorf Ike team. Uh, Bane starting off immediately kicking Greninja in the face. Strong start here. I, I like the forward air and the up air there from Red Team. Putting so much damage onto Mexican Shield. But a great up smash there from Bane and he's. Bro, you Bane's know, swinging. Yeah, he's swinging. Uh, he finally gets hit and opened up for 30 percent. But, you know, he nears Pandarian and basically does the same amount of damage. But Bane is still, he's gotten so much damage off just by hitting the same three moves. I do like how much Bane, uh, damage Bane has gotten in. So he's gotten him at a point where I can just do nair up B and kill, but... I, I like that idea of just F tilting him away because it was a bit of a committal option. Yeah, I mean, it was very clear it wasn't going to hit, so it's a little less laggy option, less punished option, I suppose. Fair going to hit somehow only Pandarian. Unfortunate. I, that should be a back throw. No, it actually goes for this down smash button. Oh, go for it. Alright. Sort of moving in and out of Mexican hitboxes, but he isn't able to find a stock off of him. Who tries to get an up air uh, vine whip going on, but not going to get anything. Strutter the only one on here with three stocks still. I, there's the power throw from Ivysaur. Looks for the down air, not going to fight. Great side B from Mexican. Going to just, you know, get himself on stage. Ooh, that angle was really gnarly coming in from uh, from Bane. That f tilt doing a really good job of just taking him off. All right, great coverage there from Strutter. Playing his teammate recover on stage, but... Even though he's on stage, Bane's still keeping the damage on him. Oh, Bane didn't go for the other up, up the other direction. I don't think he was uh he was confident that it was gonna hit. Oh, that was a great Where combo. Where's he gonna go? Oh, he got sent. He got, he got mangled. So right now, Mexican and Bane actually do have the lead right now. But Bane gonna do a, a warlock kick and SD with that. I think he thought he was gonna have a little uh, more time to recover. So. Right now, blue team on their final socks here. Nice. Great grab there from Mexican. Actually uses the back throw hitbox to force Strota away as well. Yeah, Ike has some of the best throws and doubles. Both his forward and back throw sin so slow, so you have a lot of time to set up with your other character. And the fact that they have hitboxes, so you can't contest it as easily or as free. Right now, the blue team, or the red team, is getting a combo going off vertically. Well, that's a real scary spot to be whenever you get grabbed by Mexican in this team. Ooh, Upsmash coming in. Not going to kill, though. Ganondorf is a thick boy. Alright, forward tilt. He's respecting the side. He tries to lead him. We're coming to center stage. Yeah, now, this is really bad. Catch him rolling. Yeah, I'd be sure when you charge that F-Smash on the ledge, it's really hard because they can actually catch everything. That's right. That's right now, Mexican's going to do a... He's going to do his best job to try to do this 2v1, but it's going to be really difficult. He's going to need some really good options here. 
Down tilt, doesn't find the up air, but the up smash is going to cover that entire platform. That was really good from uh, Mexican. He was weaving in and out, but unfortunately, Charizard's wings are a little too big. Looks like Strota lost that game of RPS, though. They're, still, they're just doing it between every game. Like, they're going. Might as well. Strota's popping off. They're having a good time. Mexican and Bane, they were doing a really good job. Uh, between that match, they were getting their team combos in. He was, Bane was getting so much damage with all these Ganondorf aerials. But they, they literally got sent off stage and got edge guarded. It's so unfortunate. So I didn't actually see where we were going for that one. I think I think they ran it back. Oh, we got Kalos. I knew it was Pokemon. Anyways, getting into the match. Oh, that was great. Alright, F tilt there from Pandarian gonna just get the combo started. Already quick damage onto everyone, basically. I mean, except Pandarian, actually. He's the only one at 15. Yeah. Everyone else, big percentages. Everyone else, already dead. But Pandarian looking pretty solid. That's the gonna place. be a punish coming in, but. For the back throw gonna stand a little too low to actually get that up air. Ooh, nice forward smash right there, and a ledge jump back here gonna force him off. He has to recover against both of these characters, and, and he, he makes it. Does. I think the problem there was that both characters went off to edge guard, so they both had to be wary of each other. Get him away from me. Get that Ganondorf away from me. Yeah, they were too close to each other, so they didn't want to do anything. So that was for the perfect opportunity for Bane to make it back. Yeah, sometimes when both of you are so adept at edge guarding. And you both try and do it, it just forces you both to back off. Right now, Mexican in, uh, getting edge guarded a lot. He's getting hit around so much by the red team. Yeah, Strota really just going in right now. Yeah, Mexican not really getting to play the game right now. Somehow, Bane is being the one to play a lot and going to get that big up smash, taking uh, Pandarian first stock. This looks so difficult for the blue team for the fact that Schroeder is going around. He's the one doing the actual damage, but he's so slippery, no pun intended. Then Pandaren just sitting back, and he's making sure he's not getting hit. He's yeah, playing. it's a great synergy between the two. Mm -hmm. well, they have very clear-cut roles on this team, and I feel like you know that's the key difference between being a top level team. Ooh, back here, Rip, not going to actually kill yet, but this is scary. you got to recover against the Ivysaur again, but we're going to make it back. Right, barely recovering there from his Mexican. But that Code Smash is going to get the stock off of Bane. And right now, it's looking real dire for the blue team that it near into the back end is going to find a stock. But, you know, Pandarian still has two. All right, great counter coming in from Strota going at the downward diagonal angle. Setting, getting both of the players, too. Oh, sending him away. That's it. Mexican is dead. I'm surprised he didn't just try to Hydro Pump or anything. But you know what? The counter ended up working, too. So right now it is up to, to Bane to make this 2v1 comeback. Oh, but that is so much damage. Not letting him land at all. The all right. Oh. oh, he's gone. Yeah. He ended up getting hit. So Star Pandarian going to take that in a clean 2 all. Vector and Bane did put up a good fight, but it was good the fact fight. of the matter that they were two big characters, and both of them were combo characters, and they were able to throw them around so much. As soon as they got them in the air, they couldn't land. You saw for a good minute and a half, Mexican was just getting thrown around from center, from stage to stage, not being able to play, just trying to recover. Bro, they're not leaving. <laughs> uh, they are just going through the gauntlet. We are just watching Strona and Pandarians run, and now they are fighting two very strong SoCal competitors in Zenyu and S2H. Yeah. This is gonna be real. This is gonna be a, a real challenge for these two. S two H, notorious dubs monster. He loves going around traveling, very good doubles. doing doubles. Zenyu doesn't play doubles as much, but he's a very strong singles player, and he still has. He can still do what he needs to do. So we're gonna be seeing a uh, Meta Knight Mario coming in from these two, and both those characters are able to just kind of ladder you and do damage, either horizontally, vertically, whatever you want. I don't think he's awake. Oh wow! Wait a minute. That's what is he, uh, he got Air Apostles shirt on or jacket on. That's that's looking clean. 
you know, style on the competition, right? Uh, hell yeah. I, I forgot it was double for a second and I saw the third controller pop. I was like, who had a pro controller? Always quick to blame the pro controllers, I see. Yeah. Yeah, tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Am I? Yep. This time, yeah. <laughs>